Potion decanting is one of the easiest ways to make big profits when you're a new player or if you're someone who is trying to build up their cash stack from scratch. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make bank by simply combining potion doses to exploit large market opportunities on the Grand Exchange. In this guide, we're going to cover what decanting actually is, how you can find the best potions to decant, and a full example of how I go about decanting potions to make as much bank as possible. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Now, let's go make some bank decanting some potions. So, what is decanting? Well, decanting is the act of combining 1 to 2 dose potions that are mispriced on the Grand Exchange into 4 dose potions and then selling them for the full price. What this does is it allows you to get massive margins on potions. To get these crazy margins, what we can do is take a look over on GE Tracker or the OSRS price wiki and find out which 1 to 2 dose potions are mispriced compared to their 4 dose counterparts. Once we do that, all we have to do is leave in a buy offer to buy the 1 to 2 dose potions, let that sit for a while, and then collect them and bring them to Bob Barter, who is in the southwest of the Grand Exchange. You can find him here. He has an option to decant potions for you, which removes all the physical clicking in the manual process behind decanting the actual potions and does it automatically in one tick but we'll get a little bit more into that as we get into the full example. Now that we've talked about what decanting actually is, let's go ahead and show you how to find the best decanting opportunities at any given point in time. The best way for us to find decanting opportunities is to use GE Tracker. So if you don't already have GE Tracker Premium, you can sign up for a free trial with the link in the description below, and you can get access to this awesome decanting tool that has made me millions. Once you're on GE Tracker and you're logged in, all you need to do is go to the Money Making tab and then go to Herblore Profit. Here, GE Tracker has a perfect section for us for decanting potions, and it's going to show us all the best options that we can decant to make bank. Once you get here though, all you have to do is filter for profit, and this will show us the most profitable items we can decant. Now, there is one really important thing we have to keep in mind when we are looking at these opportunities. For example, you will see the Hunter Potion 4 dose currently has an approximate profit of 4.7k each, which seems insane from a profit standpoint. But that actually is a little bit misleading, because the Hunter Potions don't have a lot of volume, so they are hard to buy and they are very hard to sell. So although you are getting about 4.7k in profit for every potion that you do decant, you are not going to decant very many potions, meaning you're really not going to make a lot of gold. It's much better for us to focus on the higher volume potions here, such as the Ceridomin Brews, the Super Strength Potions, the Stamina Potions, the Super Restore Potions. These are going to be all amazing options, and as you can see on the right hand side underneath Approximate Profit, we are going to make at least 450 GP for every single one of these. What I'm going to do is pick 4 or 5 different potions that look really great and try to buy out offers for 1 dose potions and 2 dose potions in hopes of decanting them and selling them as 4 dose potions. I'm going to take a little bit of a deep dive to figure out which potions are going to be the best and we'll get them listed up on the Grand Exchange. Now that I've explained how to find good decanting opportunities, we're going to walk through the full example of how to make profit from decanting these potions. So I have GE Tracker open still, uh, open on the decanting page, and what we're going to do is again filter for approximate profit and pick the best options here. So we're going to do the Ceridomin Brews and we'll likely list the 1 and the 2 doses. And we'll try to sell them for around 8k each. And we'll do the same exact thing for the Super Strengths, the Stamina Potions, and the Super Restore Potions as well. Likely we'll pick another one, I just have not decided which one's going to be great yet. If you need to calculate things manually because you don't have GE Tracker Premium, it's very simple. Just take the cost of the one dose potion and multiply it by four. If that is significantly cheaper than the cost of the four dose, it is a good decanting opportunity. Now, if you want to do it calculation on two dose potions, then basically all you have to do is multiply the two dose potion by two, and if that's significantly cheaper than the four dose, then obviously you're going to make profit. Just make sure that you keep tax in mind when you are doing these flips. 
We just put all of our potion offers in. Now, these are going to buy very slowly because a lot less people are selling one to two dose potion variants on the Grand Exchange. If you're mostly catching people who are just dumping PvP supplies, or maybe they just got back from Slayer and they're selling everything and they're selling the potions on top of it. So they will take a while to buy because the volumes are a lot lower. Now that we have everything in, we're going to let this sit for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and we'll come back, decan everything, and see how much we make. So it's been about an hour, and I'm going to go ahead and collect all of our potions, and what we'll do is we'll decant all of them and sell them back to the Grand Exchange, and then look at our total profit across all of the potions. We started flipping with 100 mil, and now we have 97.6, so we spent 2.36 mil on our potions. So you can see that Bob is in the southwest corner of the Grand Exchange, really easy to find. You just go over to him and hit decant, and you'll get all your potions decanted. And just like that, all of our potions have sold. It was super quick, literally took maybe three minutes to get everything sold off. So let's collect it and see how much we made. After selling all of our potions, we ended up with a 165k profit, which means we made a 6.2% return on our cash stack just from decanting potions. That's why this moneymaker is so good for people who have smaller cash stacks who are really trying to build up that initial amount to get into more traditional flips. Anyway, that'll be all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the guide, be sure to drop a like. Also, I wanted to mention that we have a Discord group dedicated to flipping and money making in old school RuneScape. So if you're trying to grow your cash stack, be sure to join with the link in the description below. My name is Scapenomics, and I'll see you all in the next one.